Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing week five of my summer traveler's notebook. And today I'll be documenting this cute photo of myself and my grandson. And here we're just posing with some of the Snapchat filters. And they had some really cute ones for 4th of July. And this would be one that I'm documenting today. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue in this Traveler's Notebook and as you can see I did some stamping last week so I do have some bleed through on the left page but I will be covering it up with some of this pattern paper. So right now I'm just going through my pattern paper and picking out the ones that I wanted to use today. So right now I'm just playing around with the placement of my pattern paper and once I figure out how I want them on this layout, I am going to go ahead and trim them down. Now the red one I will not trim because I will use that straight across both pages and you can see it fit perfectly, the width of it was perfect. I do trim the striped paper and I will add some to the top and bottom of this layout. So you may have noticed I did not cut the center where the spine of this traveler's notebook is. I just go ahead and fold it in half as you can see here and it worked perfectly like that. And here I have just a bit of scrap from the striped paper so I decided to use that as a banner for right beneath my photo. Next up I will go ahead and mat my photo and then begin embellishing the layout. So now it's time to add my title and from the Gossamer Blue kits that I'm using in this series, I grabbed this word happy from one of the sticker sheets. And I also use alphas from another sticker sheet that came with the kits as well. And here I'm gonna add fourth of. And for July, I do pull in some thickers from my stash. Now I'm really enjoying using all of these kits combined for this project, but I am running low on embellishments. So I think I need to go through my stash and just add a few pieces that will go really well with the colors in this kit. And the blue is not typical for this kit at all. I did pull that in using some puffy stickers from the Pink Fresh Studios because you can see in my photo there's a little bit of blue that I wanted highlighted in my um my embellishments and this these would be the puffy stickers that I'm adding right now that's blue. I also added some red ones as well. So here I'm noticing that I have a bit of white space above that red strip that goes across the layout and I wanted to add some elements going up towards the top 
and maybe just a little bit on the bottom as well i the white space i really did not like how that looks so here i'm gonna add the word phrases above that red strip and i'm also gonna add a few more of those puffy stickers as well and you can see i grabbed some of the die cuts that came with the gossamer blue kits and next up i will go ahead and pull out a happy planner sticker book and from that sticker book, I added two word phrases, I believe. And there would be one under the photo that says, love this. And I also added one that says, so, so good. So here I'm just going through some die cuts from a Coco Vanilla die cut set. And I pulled out this frame and I love the color. It's blue denim and it has some gold uh, stitching around it it's a frame and i went ahead and cut it in half and i'm just adding a piece of it to the top and i wanted to bring in that blue denim also to the bottom of the layout and i decided to go ahead and use a photo corner to do that instead of the other piece of um frame and here i'm just adding some more word phrases to that little cluster next to my photo as well So now to add a bit more to the top and bottom of this page, I am going to add some splatters using some Liquitex acrylic ink. And this is a really nice navy blue. It's called Perugian Blue Hue. I also added in my journaling that simply says uh, Jaden and Grandma having fun with 4th of July Snapchat filters and I added the date. And now I'm adding in some washi as well. And this is a navy blue, although it may look black it is a navy blue and there are some white stars on there so if you have not seen uh, my previous videos be sure to check out my channel i do have videos for weeks one through four for my summer traveler's notebook and i do have all of the items that i use today down below in my description box so be sure to check that out and here's a close-up look at this layout. I love how this turned out and I hope you enjoy this process. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up before you leave. And until my next video, bye.